Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. We're going to try it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if this is going to work out. It's got to go better than the vampire run did last time. So let's see how this goes. We're still going to do all this just want to have fun because, um, well, I'm bad at video games. Okay, we're going to try vegan. I think we have a good chance to make vegan work for us. Um, we also have... We do range spells or range attacks, then vegan doesn't count, so maybe archery could work out here. We need some kind of defense. Berserker vegan can be interesting. Master of Arms might be better. Well, how about this? Where we go with, like, Warlockery and Blood Magic and Ley Lines, and that way, like, Warlockery kind of, like, Never goes away, especially with the regen from ley lines. I mean, this is probably overkill, but nothing wrong with a little bit of overkill. Okay, we also need like a good crafting something. So tinkerer could work. It helps us with traps for sure. Smithing would be. I mean, I guess what are we what are we going for here? We're going for a ranger build. Which I guess would technically be rogue, right? Because you fit into warrior, mage, or rogue. I mean, a mage build would be interesting, but really this is more about... Hitting them with a far with a lot of things that they can't deal with. That's probably going to be tinkering more than anything else. And then finally, what's our last bit? Well, we could do instead. No. Hmm. I mean, some kind of weapon would be good aside from the archery. Do welding, we don't care about. Maybe shield? We need some kind of defense, is the thing. The warlocker really is good, but some kind of defense is probably be decent. Shield's not bad. Or Master of Arms, one of the two. Uh, let's get shields. We're going to be using shields anyway, because we're not dual wielding. So we might as well get some decent benefit out of it. This has possibilities, maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. We try alchemy instead of, uh, of tinkering. I've never actually tried alchemy before. Warlockery is going to suck up a lot of magic. That's why I'm getting these two. But we need both. Why not need both? We we'll probably do away with um, with ley lines and get something else instead. So you can't do vegan big game hunter. I mean, it's hilarious, but you can't do it. Can you? I don't think you can. Um. might work here is fungal arts and alchemy. They might complement each other. Don't know. You guys have any suggestions in chat? I'm totally willing to take suggestions. Our archaeology is interesting. And that will help us with traps. Tinkering would too if we go to tinkering instead of alchemy. Actually, those complement each other well enough. Weird. It's a weird build. The thing is, if we're going to go tinkering, we're probably better off with Rogue Scientist or Clockwork Knight. Um, Warlockery is interesting. Yeah, they wish they were warriors. With Blood Magic, that could be really good. Okay, we're going to try this. This might go horribly, but we're going to try it anyway. Alright, let's do this. Uh, Bot of the Universe, give me a random name of a viewer or subscriber, please. Captain Rhodes. Alright, Captain Rhodes. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I do appreciate it. Did actually spell your name right? Great. 
All right, here we go. And instantly someone set off a trap over there. All right, what do we start with? Crap, basically. Giant bunches of crap. Oh shit, I didn't... There's no weapon? We didn't start with a weapon. So this might be in contention for fastest run ever. Um, on the upside, we have Poussant Touch. We should definitely put that in our hotbar here because we're going to need it. Hey, yeah, look at that. Touch me. Okay, great. I mean, we might just be able to use this. All right, remember to grab the nightcap. Remember to grab the plum. We actually need food now. Oh, no. It's a... It's an animal. 200 turns. Because I can't freaking... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to murder you, though. Weapon has no effect because I have 200 turns of just staring at the wall. Fortunately, the animal doesn't seem to care here. I forgot I was a vegan. <laughs> the whole point of this run, and I forgot I was a vegan. We're just going to keep on mashing the space bar now because I'm bad at video games. I know, I know, I'm falling vegan. I'm negative five to everything. Fortunately, the dragon does not take offense. Finally. Okay. Let's never do that again. You are an animal, so you don't care about me. Uh, we could totally do this, though, to grab that. Thank you very much. Nice free experience. Appreciate it. You are also an animal, so I can just walk on by. So far, so good. Animal. Blobby is other, so the Blobby needs to die. Hey, Blobby. Yeah, if I mentioned no actual, like, you know, weapons. Oh. Boundless for the Mangler of Altars, though. Decent, decent. Take that. You are also an animal, so do not attack you. Hey, look, a weapon. It's an actual weapon. Not be too picky, it's a weapon. All right, you're a demon. All right, demons are not animals, so I can totally murder you. Or you're gonna mad to magic me here. There you go. You are an animal, so that's okay. You're also an animal. You are a vegetable, though. Nothing more... Nothing more that a vegan hates than a vegetable. I mean, that'd be nice. If we had actually picked up Magical Law, we totally grabbed that, but uh, we didn't, so we can't. You're an animal. You're another. I mean, if I wouldn't, I wouldn't be human if we didn't actually, you know, kill the other. All right, what do we got? We have crossbow blast, which is actually not bad. We have duck and cover. We have vital siphon. We have it belongs in a museum. You know, that's a nice experience. Let's do that. I don't know if we actually have any artifacts right now, but when we do, it's gonna be really nice to pick that up. Hey, look, another weapon. A rusty shiv. Uh, it's basically the same damage. It's just differently apportioned. Age blue cheese. You can't eat cheese either. Not as a, not as a vegan. Gotta remember that. No cheese for me, thanks. Oh, okay. Hold on. Gotta go around the bat. I mean, as I guess, do we have a crossbow? Oh, we do have a crossbow. Oh, thank God. I mean, no, we do have some bolts, too, so that's good. So we could kill these guys if we really wanted to. We can kill the animals at a distance if we need to. Hopefully, that's not going to happen. Freaking magic of potato. There. Um, I mean, I think we use the brimstone to make bombs, I want to say. Sounds right. Well, all the traps in the world, that's great. The power cylinder is good for tinkering at something. I forget what it is now. 
Okay, level up. I will take... Yeah, sure, why not? Boost our tinkering skill. Do it. Let the Diggle go ahead and sleep. Kill the demon. There you go. Dark Orb. Um, okay, push and empowerment. I mean, that's more of a magical skill thing, but maybe. Maybe. Oh, there, Diggle. Haste Elixir. Sounds cool. Medical Badass Jacket. Do you want to... Do you want to just... Yeah, thank you for moving. I appreciate that. Mirror Darkly Shield. Okay. Mirror Shield. Bit of Coal. Black Pearl. Push Invisibility. Okay. I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing, but we might be able to do it. Oh, definitely take the Acid Down Pool build. That's pretty good. Hey there, guys. You guys just get to hang out there. It's fine. Can't eat the eggs anyway, so... Eldrick Bolt. All right, we're finding bolts left, right, and center. Ooh, pushing and peeling. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, no actual burglary, so we're going to be bashing our way through everything right now. Lockpicks. Nice. That means we can open this stuff up, and I don't know if that was worth it. Maybe. We have a library, though. Uh, what's this? Bronze Greaves. Okay, I'm not wearing any pants right now, so sure. Better than nothing. What do we got? Well, we know how to do that. We make a belt of champions. Okay. Focusing lens. Which doesn't even tell me what it does. Picture books. First blobby series. Where the fell's trouble. Um, let's see. Better boots. Thought my nest is bad. Ooh, elder crossbow. That's pretty good. An army sword. Take potion, which we probably won't be able to do anyway. This needs assassin's crossbow, maybe. Conventional axe, skill the ring, and then finally we go ahead and grab the foot. Oh, they did not like that. Um, on the other side, though, I grab one sparkling glove. They can't hurt me. There. Um, unfortunately, I am trapped right now. They did not like me picking up that book. Okay, so let's um, use a fire bolt on him or something. Or just a wooden bolt. That would work, too. Okay. okay. He's out. We can walk away. The dealers are going to keep bouncing back and forth. That's going to really slow me down here. Come on, guys. Don't trap me in like this. Three damage per bolt here. Oh my god, I can't actually. I can't deal. The bouncing up and down just slows me down so much. Get away from me, guys. I don't want to have to kill you. I'm just using up all my bolts right here. I, mean, I guess we can pick up some of these. The bouncing up and down is actually driving me crazy. Stop bouncing. Oh my god. Pick up the bolts. Oh my, I just want to pick up the bolts. A shift click should not cost a turn. Oh my god. Stop bouncing. Okay. I'm going to murder everybody on the planet. It's going to be great. Okay, so we're going to use the poison ample belt and hopefully, hopefully get rid of the ones around us. The bouncing is actually driving me crazy. This is why I hate being a vegan, is because we get shit trapped by freaking nobody's here. Okay, open up the chest. The are bolt's not bad. I'll definitely pick that up. The bouncing is actually driving me crazy. They're never going to stop bouncing. It's never going to happen. I'm going to move one inch here. They're going to bounce again. It's going to happen. You ready for it? I'm not ready for it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Here we go. Hey, look. More bouncing. Out of my way, guys. I will poison myself to get out of here. I'll do it. Okay. Just keep on bouncing there, Diggle. Eventually, you'll get somewhere. I don't know where the hell you're trying to go. Can I please just get out? 
I just want to get out. Stop bouncing. Oh my god, they surrounded me. I can just stand there still. I'm not adverse to that. They're going to bounce forever. And possibly drive me insane. I should not have taken that book. I didn't even want the book, to be honest. I just wanted to sell it. That's all I wanted to do. Then the Diggle Librarians came out of nowhere. And decided that um, my face was something they wanted to crowd around, apparently. Okay, look, I'm going to move for one whole step. Huzzah. Another whole step. Huzzah. Okay, just wait for these guys to leave. They'll leave eventually. 30, 40 centuries from now, it'll happen. It'll be the year 30,000. That's okay, because in the year 30,000, I'm given to understand, we can kill Xenos with impunity. Come on, guys. There we go. Hey, look, a hole opened up. Move. 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 We're free! Kind of. They're still following us, but we're mostly free. Stop jumping. I will actually murder all of you every time. Bombs? I mean, it's not a bad idea. We do have a little bit of brimstone. Um, put this down to what we have ingredients for here. Uh, well, I can make a tofu salad, apparently. And aluminum, too, which doesn't actually help me. So that's it. Can I encrust? I cannot. So I can't make bombs yet. I apparently don't have enough materials for that. These guys are just going to hang around me for a bit, aren't they? Um, we can go around this side. Since they stop bouncing up and down all the time. Just trying to surround me at all times. Go this way. I kind of wish the traps still existed. Actually, they do still exist. They're right here. Except they keep following me. Oh my god. You know what we're going to do? We're going to shift click right here. I did nothing. I can't actually place it. Can't place it underneath them, apparently. That can't happen. I really want to go this way, guys, so I'm going to have to murder you, if you understand. I mean, if it did kind of hurt me there. I want to go to the left, guys. I want to go to the left. I'd like taunt this guy into moving over there. I'm out of ampho bolts, which is fair, because I'm using a lot of those. Oh no, here we go. More acid down people Here you go. I will, in fact, bury you all. I'll do it. I'll just kill you over kill every single one of you. Finally, something I can kill with impunity in melee. Uh, don't kill the bat, because that's an animal. However, right, this guy is an evil magic potato who obviously needs to die. The rest of these guys will run for it, and they're more than welcome to. The bats are now surrounding me because the bats took the, their cues from the diggles. Okay. Kill this thing, so at least we have some movement. Where are you? There we go. Alright. There's droid juice there. There's a little batty. They've all surrounded me now. Gridstone axe, which is pretty bad. Well, on the upside, um, the potato can't hit me because now there's a wall of animals. On the downside, I can't hit the potato because there's a wall of animals. There we go. Where the potato? There you go. Sure, why not? Grab the strawberry. Why not? Offer graphing bolt? Sure. The sandwich is probably not vegan. You're an animal. I mean, I would like just to go north here. You guys just give me some room. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So, possible blast. Not a bad idea. I can cover. Sure. Animal friend. All right. Animal friend will fight for you if you ask them because they love you so much. Actually, that could be really good. Greater commitment to veganism may cause greater penalties when you hurt the cute animals. Okay. As long as I don't hurt them in melee, though, we're fine. So, sure. Do this. Then at least 
we'll have something. Don't hit the... Okay, thank goodness he dodged out of the way. Still the gnome. I didn't actually mean to attack there. I did the shift click because I thought I could pick stuff up. Apparently that's not a thing. Um, so now I can ask this girl. Please go hunt for me. And she's going to attack that guy, right? Or nothing at all. She's not going to do anything at all. That's also very possible. I asked. No, I don't. It's on a hell of a cooldown. It's on a 50 turn cooldown? That's insane. Grab the amber. Yeah, I've asked her to help out, but she's uh, she's bad at it. And the bats have all surrounded me now. You know what? I can just hold down space bar until somebody leaves. I'm good with that. Oh, look at that. The blobby's right there. Murder the blobby. Look at that. The bat took his place. Too many animals on the first level. Really test your resolve. Nothing. We burned it. Elk and demon. There. He's out. Simple. The bats just love following me. I don't know why. Okay. Um, sure, why not? I'll murder these guys. There. Alright, we should probably take these, because at least that's some experience. Get away from me, you freaking bat. Use a firebolt on you, because you deserve it. There. She's still here. I don't know if I want her at all, but sure. Is she actually hurting the animals? I think she was. I don't know why. I guess because it's an enemy, and why not? Hey, speaking of enemies, there's a potato up there. Who's apparently just wanting to... There, there we go. Okay, hematite, iron ingot. I don't know if we need any of this, but sure. Brimstone. Little potato. So the brimstone, we should be able to make bombs out. Right? Theoretically? Well, we can make iron ingots. Definitely do that. I can make bolts. That's not a bad idea. I make a throwing weapon too, but I think the bolts probably be better. There we go. Can I crest anything? I cannot. Okay. I grab the copper ring. I think that's another. Oh, if I do this. I already have one of those. I totally already have one of these. So, okay, we can't actually craft anything. Okay, get away from me, lady. Apparently she's no longer my friend, which I'm okay with. What's this? This is ginseng, deep omelet. Okay, don't eat the omelet, but otherwise, totally fine. With any luck, we'll find a shop down here. The pie is probably not vegan either. The dinner, I think, maybe? Possibly. The jelly beans are likely... Jelly beans are not vegan. Not in real life, anyway. I mean, in the game, they might be. In real life, usually jelly beans are going to be... Um, some crazy leggings there. Jelly beans are made from some weird kind of gelatin that is... Okay, taking that apparently pissed these guys off, but they can't get to me again. Oh, damn it. They can totally get to me. Ladies, I know I'm very attractive, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta have time for yourselves, you know? Oh, they don't believe me. We'll just murder you all. I'll do it. Just murder every single one of you. Okay. I need to... I'm running out of bolts. I'll do it. I'll just murder every single one of you. I'm out of fire bolts now. Wooden bolts are bad. Let's do Aldrich Bolt. That'll make the other ones run, I hope. Okay. Diggledness. Don't care about that. Let's go downstairs. Downstairs is going to be less animals. I mean, my weapons right now probably can't really cope. Lufus God is not where I want to be right now. Um, traps we can deal with. Lockpicks wouldn't be bad, I suppose. 45% chance. I'll try it. Okay, that hurt, but we're okay. 
A shop would be great. We'd actually get a shop. That'd be fantastic. The shop has a good chance. Can I? My inventory is full. Uh, I cannot pick up any lockpicks, so I will trade out. What will I trade out? Might as well eat an apple. There. Get away! I can't have to murder these guys just to get them to leave me alone. Okay, well, we don't really have much in the way of, like, anything, so... Yeah, okay, we'll just go downstairs. Downstairs is things we can actually kill. Like vegetables. We can totally kill vegetables. Hello, vegetable. Locked it. Okay. A little bit tougher of a vegetable than I was expecting. Or my weapon just sucks, which is also true, I suppose. Sure, more milk. What the hell? Uh, we already have some strawberries, so I can go ahead and pick that up. Okay, let's grab... What are we going to grab? Ooh, the bonuses there for clean living are pretty good. Yeah, okay. Now I can deal with that. Mana mail's not bad either. Let's do that. That's why we got the, uh, that's why we got blood magic in the first place anyway. So, let's get that going for us. So, here. That one protected for a bit. We'll technically eat through our magic, but only when we're attacked. This guy's undead, so I can totally kill him. Although, even with a crit. I did four slashing damage, and that was not enough. When step on the trap, he stepped on the trap. It's gonna take so long to kill him. I right, kill the vegetable for sure. Yeah, my damage kind of sucks right now. And by kinda, I mean definitely. We need better. We need a better weapon. Well, their death. I'll just teleport over. Murder this fellow. Somehow I avoided stepping on that trap, and I don't know how that happened. Oh, ectoplasm extension goes away. Okay, see, that guy I took out immediately. Another boss man. Another rusty sword, too. Not what I want right now. Uh, he knows I'm here. So, bolt of death, maybe? Do I have a bolt of death? Elder bolt, almost the same thing. There we go. He's out. Rusty sword. Yeah, not really going to do it. I am going to die to my own bolt, and that would be hilarious. First bolt. That's not bad. I will drop the Venomous Cold for that. There you go. Gotta pick something. I'm going to drop anything at all. Okay, lockpick's not bad. It might be a Krong. Fire spout mine. Okay, so I will drop anything here. Okay, like cheese. I don't need to carry cheese around. Okay, no, don't pick it up again. Just drop it. There you go. Oh, from in there, that was Krong. I thought I saw the lava, and I thought for sure it was Krong. All right, never mind then. Well, this is gonna be a long, hard road. It's a good crit though. It wasn't bad. It was only three hits. Okay, there's some good bolts here. I will totally drop... Will I drop? Will I drop? Um, cheese? Don't need cheese. Cow chops or rupture bolt could work out for us. Suicide pills pretty bad, as well as the aquifertius, which is alchemical, so we don't need that. The wooden bolts are really bad. If we had a better crossbow, though, it wouldn't be that bad. Havarti I can't use anyway, so drop that and pick up the SM. There we go. Bell Truffle, I think we already have one of those, so sure. Animals in there, in cages. Um, we're just going to leave that, because otherwise they're going to surround us. It's going to be very bad. That's a whole lot of nothing over there, so we could do that, but why? OK, 
Okay, cake or pie for a vegan? The answer is neither. The answer is just straight up no. Also, I mean fungus, which we do have one, so I'll go and pick up another one. Shop would be great right now, though, because then we could actually get rid of some of this stuff. Universal remote. Theoretically take control of a construct. Okay, cool. I would like to do that. Um, let's drop Caltrops, I suppose. Oh. Um, I can't drop... No, no, I did drop all of them. Great. Grab that. Grab that. Don't step in the teleporter. Tempting, but don't do it. I just have to buy this undead guy. Them, at least I can take out. Though, death is going to be a bit of a thing. Wow. Alright. Yeah. Where the hell is it? Okay, Krong. Krong, buddy, pal, friend of mine. Please help. Please help. I'd like Krong to help with. Some kind of damage would be great. And we have resistances up the wazoo, which is great. But damage is what we really need. So, make this sparkling glove a, an artifact, please. He's pleased by us, and now does Hyborian damage? No, Hyborian protection. I wish he did Hyborian damage instead, but okay. And we just need... We just need damage. That's all we need. Caffeine stimulant injector unit. That's hilarious. I like it. Uh, okay, fine. Whatever. If I had the room to carry the loot fisk, I still might not do it. As it is, we only have one shot. We have we have some amazing defenses or something? What the hell? We barely got hit there. We do not have amazing defenses. Somehow he's barely able to get through to me though. I'm okay with it, it's just weird. Okay, let's go to our left, I suppose. Excuse me, bat. Not where I wanted to go. Might as well pick up the traps, because they give me pretty much experience. So, what's next? What's next? What's next? I would want... Vital Siphon sounds pretty good. Hog Jockey. I mean, I think to get our tinkering up might help. Um... Yeah, let's do maybe. This pulls them into melee range. We already have that ability with the uh, clockwork bolts. We have 20 of those, so we can kind of hold off on this one. Uh, Fierce Dimension in Battle, though, sounds good. That's another level away, but we could do that. Clean Living. You know what? Give me more damage. Sure thing. More strength, anyway, which just translates to more damage. Um, there we go. Yeah, I placed down a trap, and then I had to pick it up again, then replace the trap with a new one, also not helpful. Tofu. I can't carry it. Oh, you know I can't. I'm only really carrying tofu. Alright, so carry another bit of tofu. Sure, brutality. Random loot fisk and a random bit of nothing. Acid spitter sounds good. Another Diggle. I mean, I could kill him, but just go around him right now for now. Oh, hello. You are totally a trap. When they're alone like this, it's a 50 50 shot. I think it's worth it. I mean, it could be worth it if we get a solid weapon, which would basically be anything at this point. So I'll take almost anything. Oh, we're full up. Uh, so it dropped Ping the Dancer who pushes the beat to noises. Which is better. It's a better weapon. Finally. Drop the freaking rusty sword forever. Alright, this might be the game changer that we were looking for here. Might have been worth it. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's instant death. That's something. I mean... These guys were taking a few hits before. Okay, well, still true for this guy. It turns out he's resistant to some of this stuff. There, finally. I right, just 
just look at the stuff here, get some tinkering recipes and all that good stuff. There we go. Nice. All right. Good. Hello there, death. Okay. Well, it's not three hits to kill him or 15 hits or whatever the hell it was before. Now it's just two. I'll take it. Your inventory is low. Uh, okay. All these guys inside this room we can kill, which is great. Most of the deaths are afraid of us, which is also great. Not so bad. I wish there was an animal in here I could convince to uh, murder for me. Most of these guys are eventually going to die. It's going to happen. It does take three hits. We need just a little bit more in terms of damage. But our defenses are pretty top-notch right now. Like, we're taking hits, but... Barely getting scratched, so we're good. Oh, hello there. Okay, this is a problem. Um, hey there, um, buddy, pal, friend of mine. Would you like to murder everything? Of course you would. Of course you would. Okay, well, now that we have that, uh, the Caltrops Director Bolt might not be a bad idea here. Okay. That should help, I hope. Um, don't kill the Diggle. The Diggle is practically dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So don't... Don't attack the, uh... Diggles, and we should be okay here. I mean, they are doing some work. I can appreciate that. Good. Come over to me so I can murder you. Somehow the Diggle is still alive. How? Reigns the mystery for the ages. I understand you would like to die. There you go. Reminds me of this guy who, uh, I forget where it was. I think it might have been when coronavirus was first a thing. He, uh, basically showed up at the beach dressed like death. I thought it was just hilarious. I mean, if you go to the beach during an epidemic, not saying you deserve what you get, but, um, it's a pretty dumb move. Oh, that's right, I have the, I have the, uh, hold up, hold up, I have a remote control. How the remote control go? We can control the, we can theoretically control the construct. Where the hell did the remote control go? Can I not pick it up? I don't see it in here anymore. God damn, I must have, either I'm confusing another run, or I didn't actually pick it up. It's one of the two. Okay, well, so much for that. We have to take out the... Take out this guy the old-fashioned way. Alright. Countered me. That might kill me. Down to almost half now. I'm, I'm down to half. Uh, okay. Kill the vegetable. That's gonna be problems, too. The vegetable's down. Kill the blobby. I really if I can just kill everything else. I can eventually kill the Construct, but it's going to take time. I just don't want to get by anything else while I'm doing it. Oh, hey, Poison. That might help. Potion of Healing. Hopefully that's vegan. Looks like it was. Okay. It turns out the Poison doesn't help anybody at all. Yeah, it doesn't help anybody at all. Alright. Construct just needs to die, please. Was my my weapon is decent, but it's not great. And I'm kind of just hemmed in here. The animals are actually going to be the death of me. Oh, thank goodness, goodness we leveled up. Okay, good. Uh, what do we want? Almost anything. Let's see. So, Aura of Self-Righteousness. We'll give us some more strength, some righteousness damage, some righteousness protection, some nimbleness. And a chance for your righteousness to blind your enemies with its shining moral superiority. Sure, why not? Occasional chance to dazzle. I'm for it. Okay, thank goodness we got fully healed and full magic. The construct's still not dead. 
There we go. We got a blinding flash there. Fantastic. There we go. That's the kind of murder I want to see on a regular basis. Uh, it'll still be directly in front of me, so grab the pair. That was zombie with righteous damage. Yeah, the zombie should go down faster, theoretically. Undead, I think, are hurt by righteous damage more. We're making that up, but it sounds right. So far, so good. Death Cap needs to die. Thank you very much. I'm standing right in the middle of some poison, which I'm not wild about. But I'm not sure I can move either, so... Fuck it. Actually, we're doing much better since I started maxing out veganism, so we're good. Kill the blobby. Kill the zombie. Two hits for the zombie. Maybe two hits for death. One hit for the mummy. Yep, one more hit for the death. Great. Grab the tofu. Alright, so far so good. Do not kill the bat. And now I'm surrounded by a wall of animals, which I can convince to kill for me. So, go kill for me, my bat friends. Let's see how that works out for you. I just got hit by something. I don't know what that was. Uh, the mummy drops. Great. Another mummy down for the count. Murder. There we go. Tom Heaty, no worries. Zombie's already dead. And you are a toxic bobby, which means you die. It would seem like they would actually count the animals as not part of the monster zoo, but that might not be true. I might need to set some monsters against each other. I mean, it feels like we got HP. It really it feels like we got a shit ton of defense. I mean, we're getting hit, but it's barely even scratch damage. So, vegan's a little rough start at the beginning, especially with a lot of animals around, but once you get them out of the way, like, no worries. Alright, let's convince... Uh, we can't convince anybody else to fight first right now. 30 more turns till that's true. The bat's not doing horribly. We could always throw in some crossbow bolts if we want to do this. I uh, wouldn't murder anybody else, but... The radiant damage from the righteousness of veganism is actually just making this work out much better for us. Yeah, last time we tried veganism... Shit! He walked in the middle of it. He walked right in front of me. God damn it. Now it's 200 turns of Fallen Vegan. Vegan Shame. Vegan Purging. We got all kinds of mess. Ah, shit. We had a potion of, uh... Oh, shit. I forget what the potion's name is. We had that potion that actually wipes our state slate clean. We'd be fine. In the middle of a freaking monster zoo is not what I wanted that to happen. No, I don't think we have a potion. I think the only potion we have is, um... I don't think we have any potions right now. I ate my health potion. That was basically it. We have not been finding potions anywhere. Yeah, I have a potion of haste. That's it. Inky Hollander would do it? Um... Or are you joking? I think you're joking. I mean, I could do it. That's a nightcap. I thought we had an Inky Hollander. I don't even see it. Let's see. The Observe Mob Bonnet, Fell Truffle. A Monster Main Fungus, releasing me some defense, because otherwise I'm going to be attacked here. Fell Truffle, I mean. Maybe? So this is Magic Regeneration. This is Fell Damage, I think? Yeah, Fell Power, theoretically, which should theoretically help me. The animals will still protect me, so that's good. If I can stay here for a while. Uh, the bat's gonna attack the Diggle, which is fine. Whatever. Okay. Kill the Electro Blobby. Best I can. The Radiant Damage is still there. I just gotta, you know, focus. And I'm still doing decent damage. 
That's nice. Okay, just let them all... Okay, so the... that's fine. That's okay. It's great. It's still working out. We're not as bad off as I thought we were going to be. Have some vegetables around, no big deal. We still do get the bonuses, at least. We just also have a whole bunch of negatives. That's fine, I can live with that. Yeah, we're still doing a lot of damage, so that's decent. Okay, I was worried there for sure, but it looks like we might be alright. The undead here are gonna go away with radiant damage, that's fine. And then we'll just sit here and wait while the other negatives go away. We're still doing okay. Off you to death. And for you. Yeah, the bats are currently attacking the diggles, which I guess is fine. Okay, we take out this zombie down here, and that's technically the end of the monster zoo. I don't know where the hell that vegetable came from. Over there. Alright, I guess we could do is use the wooden bolt and take these guys out. They settled in the Monster Zoo for us. And the bats all need to die, which should be done in a single hit. Oh, assuming, of course, I actually do hit, which is not always guaranteed. Uh, Bob Dine Bowl, sure thing. Alright, not so bad. Three monsters left, although I don't see where the third one could possibly have gone. So are we actually not going to be able to finish this monster zoo? Well, where the hell did the third guy go? Oh, uh, there he is. That's got to be it. Yep, there we go. We got a ring. For better or for worse. It's actually not a bad ring. Not bad at all. I'll totally wear that. Add my resistances. Okay. We still have 75 turns of veganism. Shame, so let's just let that spin. Holding down spacebar. I'd rather not have the negatives. Shit ton of negatives. There we go. We're good. We don't have burglary, so that's not even worth it. Give me a freaking shop, please. That, that's what I really want. These zombies seem a little stronger than your normal types. Come on. There we go. Leveled up. I want to take... I mean, we could just finish off the vegan tree, I suppose. Privy to inner secrets and methods of the vegan. So, sure. Sure, let's do it. What does that do exactly? Doesn't tell us. Okay. We got some kind of counter chance, so I'll totally take that. Alright. I'm liking veganism. I think it's super powerful. It's a little annoying sometimes when you're in the middle of a bunch of animals, but... Otherwise, it seems totally fine. Power cylinder, move on. Oh, hello there, shop. I've been looking all over for you. You would not believe. Okay, so. Sell the traps. I have a lot of those. Sell the crap weapons. We have a lot of those. And the books and everything else there. The ginseng. I don't know if we want that. We don't want the cheese or the deep omelets, so get rid of those. We don't really need... Much in the way of magic regen, so we we'll probably get rid of that. We'll take so we might be able to use for tinkering. I haven't really looked at it yet. Yeah, the bolts I think we want there. Let's get rid of the suicide pill. Don't need that right now. There's the universal remote. We went to my hop bar and I totally didn't even see it. And sell the trap. Move that in here, move, say, that in here, and we should be good to go. Alright, what do you got for sale? Okay, the Boulder Ruptor looks kind of cool. 31... 
thousand Zork vids? That's crazy talk. That's insane. You're out of your mind. Five damage for sword. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, we're only doing what? Seven damage right here. So anything better than that. Though we're only on level two, so that seems unlikely. 31,000? Not gonna happen, my friend. It's just not gonna happen. All right, well, so much for that. And we sold some stuff, which I guess is fine. The bauxite we can turn into aluminum, I believe. All right, should we make a salad? Sure thing. Um, make this, sure thing, why not? Make this, sure, go ahead. We make brass pipings. Um, we can encrust. Sure, it gets us a little bit of damage on it. Why not? Do it. I must drop a suitable item. Okay, right. Okay, so let's drop. I don't actually have any boots. Oh, I thought I did. All right. Well, the sparkling glove at the very least. So here, we can do this and encrust this. So now it's encrusted and gives us some magic reflection, which is something. I don't know if we actually have any boots. I'm trying to find some boots. All right, out of curiosity. Okay, so if we make ourselves bronze disc and a pressure plate, we can encrust a sword. Or whatever weapon, I guess. It doesn't actually have to be a sword. Aluminum tubes, okay. Cross the sword of the mounted flashlight, which should increase our perception. That's not a bad idea. The shield. Of course, I don't have a shield yet. Do I have any copper? I thought we did have copper. Nope, that's brass. I changed it to brass. Uh, well, brass mechanism would get in coggling, which decreases, decreases dodge, but does up our defense. Our dodge is higher right now. I don't want to decrease our dodge right now. And minus two to hit sounds like a really bad plan, so let's not do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and just limit it to have ingredients. I don't know if we want to do any of this just yet, so we'll hold off. But for now, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Dungeons of Dreadmore. I'm Peace Universe, your Peace Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.